Hey ladies, if you have always wished that you could work with me personally in a small intimate setting, I have some great news. For the first time in over a decade, now that things are opening up, I cannot wait to get my hands on you personally. So we have opened up application to our plug into your superpower retreat to the public. So apply now and see if it's a good fit for you. Just go to datingwithdignity.com forward slash plug into form. I cannot wait to meet you in person. Again, that's datingwithdignity.com forward slash plug into form. You're listening to Life Check Yourself with life coach, transformational leader, and dating and relationship badass, Marnie Batista. Every week, you'll get the raw truth from top experts and real people on the important life and love issues you want to know about. So if you're ready to life check yourself in your relationships, your career, and the areas of your life that matter most to you, and you're not afraid to be called out on your uh, stuff, then you're ready for what's next. Life Check Yourself with Chris Gillis, Love is Blind. Can you create chemistry even if you're not attracted? Ladies, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, And I'm here to chat with Mr. Chris Gillis, uh, life checking ourselves. Um, I am uh, super excited for this because I was watching the Love is Blind, which we're we're talking about, loosely talking about. Um, And the first thing I was like, I have to, and it's so annoying because we're on different time zones. We can't even like watch it together. Right. Because I was like, oh my God, I I wanted to text you so much. Um, I have to just talk about this thing about masculine and feminine energy right Mm -hmm. off the bat. Because the character Mallory is with this guy, Sal, and Mm -hmm. they're having their, like, you know, 24 hours or 48 hours alone. Mm -hmm. And she's like, it's so awkward. I'm, like, quirky. I'm, Mm -hmm. like, she's being kind of, like, cute and sweet. And he's like, I'm, like, there for it. Like, we're going to do it together. And it's very lovely. And then, like, 25 minutes later in the episode, she's talking to... Jared. Jared, yeah. And suddenly she's like that fuck she's a dude. She's like, fuck mm-hmm. yeah, man. Like, I fucking want to play, bro. Like, I'm like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, that's my man. Like, I want to just fucking go to the game, bro. And I was like, yeah. whoa. Like, yeah, yeah. What and I was dying to ask you, like, did you notice it like that? And also, like, yeah. which is more attractive, but yet. Jarrett seems into it, but that's a whole other question. But like, did you have that same, like, oh, this is insane. Like, I want to go back and watch it again. It was so dramatic. So, yeah, they call that, um, or yeah, like, like, like the pick me syndrome and like, I'm not, or I'm not like, uh, and it drives Emily and, and I crazy the, the, I'm not like anybody else. I'm not like anybody else here. I'm so different. I'm so different. I'm like, <laughs> look, they're all like different shades of red flags walking around and yeah, I mean, exactly. they did a great job. You're not that different, babe. And you're not that special. You're not that unique to think that, yeah, it's a weird thing that, that, that we do to really separate ourselves out and to protect us and keep us, I guess, in our same unhappy bubble that, that we're in. And, and I love, I love that she goes, yeah, uh, uh, I'm back home. You know, I'm just, you know, I just like beer and hot dogs, and baseball, <laughs> you know, uh, I think that's something about Mary thing, but then she goes on and, and then she admits, and then she fucking, shows her cards and she's like yeah just it's just bullshit that all the guys treat me like a bro none of them treat me right and listen to me and you know and really want to rub my feet and treat me like a princess and you know and, and love on me it's like well which is it dude uh yeah do you want to be everybody's bro because you can't be you know the, yeah the, the, the little sister and then also the love interest and while you and then you see her getting what she said you know that she doesn't get back home and i think chicago is you know wh- where she's from uh, she, yeah, she doesn't get that, yeah, that, that feminine, uh, uh, love and, and attention and fawning over that she so, you know, desperately says she, that she wants, but then now she's getting it from Sal and she's like, ew, gross. And then she's she, Jarrett and it's like, oh, okay. I can kind of get away from it and go back to my, my normal of not. Yeah. And that's what's so interesting is when someone comes to work with us, 
like we like really help them with the feminine and then they act so like in theory right and they get ready to date and then yeah. when they when it's really good like someone's treating yeah. them well they literally don't know what to do with it they feel mm-hmm. like mallory like i feel so awkward i feel so uncomfortable this is so weird mm-hmm. and left to their own devices they end up back with the jer bears who's basically yeah. cheating on yeah. his fiance in plain what? sight in plain sight yes yes okay and um well another question then is for yeah for for, for the gal people who haven't seen the show it moves fast i mean they they fall it's accelerated and the reality okay the Technically, yes, Jarrett is, and all these people, they are engaged to be married. So right. hitting on another person is at least emotional cheating, right. um, Yeah, if not that. And then, you, but then so interesting about the show, and, and yeah, you strip it back, like, well, technically, shit, they've only actually physically been with this other person, their partner, for like 72 hours. You're right. like, well, shit, is it, is it cheating? There's so many interesting, no, it, uh, yeah. I mean, it is in that, like, he said to this girl, you know, Yana, like, you're amazing. I'm in yeah. love with you. Like, okay. we're, we're having the best time. You're so cool. What, I, and to be honest, like, I get, like, Jared's attracted to that kind of playful, mm-hmm. quirky, you know, like, because Ayana's got the, like, let's be brother and sister, wrestle around, you know, kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. But she also mm-hmm. seems to be able to have that kind of feminine sure. thing. Whereas what we've seen in Mallory, I was like, is this the same girl that was in the pod and it was on the the last like couple retreat time with Sal, mm-hmm. because this part I was like, who is this chick? Like we haven't seen that side of her at all. Mm-hmm. And so people will say, well, which is the real Mallory? And it's like, I think there's a part of Mallory that was in the pods that just doesn't feel safe to come out. And when we're left to our own devices without like accountability and really massive self-awareness, that's why so many women sabotage it with great guys because they're like, mm. this, you know, like I'm not attracted. This is weird. He's too nice to me. And then they just go for the, the old, the old, same old, same old. So mm-hmm. uh, it's almost yeah. like, it's almost like when they're in the pod, they're allowed to, um, I guess be more measured and cerebral in, in, in stop or so. Cause she's definitely, yeah, she's very attracted um, to Jarrett, and she's like, man, you just feel like, you know, you're my old, you know, worn in baseball mitt. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like home. Um, I, I want to go for it. But then they sit and then they're they're forced to go back and really think and journal and not just uh, knock boots and get naked and just jump back in and do what they what the normal patterns that they do. But then what's so yeah, what's so revealing about it is and then boom, OK, so she made a, a you know, seemingly a good decision. As far as you, we can tell who knows, maybe we're wrong, but Sal seems like a good guy and, and a good fit. And seems like, yeah, seems like a solid dude um, for everything we can, you know, see. And he seems re- he's OK with treating her, giving her all those things that she, you know, admits that she she didn't get when she's playing, you know, uh, the, the bro to every to back 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 home, which is every the, 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 the guy's girl um, type of person. And then, uh, yeah, then, and then you're like, well. And she, then when she gets it all, she's able to kind of, it all, it all kind of goes sideways, right? And she sabotages it. And, um, once, once she's in real life with, with that person, which is pretty, pretty, is a pretty I normal hope Sal, I hope Sal does go home because yeah. he does not like deserve. He, yeah. She's not his person at all. He needs like a nice, sweet, but well, I'm sure yeah. Mallory is nice and sweet, but you know. I, I, the whole thing was just mind blowing to me. Okay, wait. Let me. Let, there's so much to talk about. I know. Um, way, like, uh, deeps and shake. Um, yeah. I, I'm really confused about this because they have this connection in the pod, right? And he's like, "Oh, I want the girl I can lift on my shoulders." Blah blah blah. <laughs> um, and then they meet each other. The reveal, and he's literally like, "She's so hot. Oh my god, I can't believe yeah. how hot you are." Like he's grabbing yeah. her ass. Yeah. We're gonna okay. put babies inside. We're gonna make yeah, it pregnant. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Now, this is what I'm really uh, confused about. So, mm-hmm. during the pod portion of the show, I'm not sure if there was an inordinate amount of hair, makeup, and styling. 
Yeah. And then Ooh. we go into this next segment where they're in Mexico. No, we're going with this. And all of a sudden, everybody internet. looks like the girl that you just see like at Walmart. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. is nothing. They're mm-hmm. not. There's nothing. Believe me. What I like about it, I was like. That that yep. shake guy is talking about meeting this super attractive chick. And I don't know if he had like some he had some sort of surgery or something. He's got like a giant scar. He's got a total dad bod. Mo- almost all yep. of them have dad bods and they're not perfect, which I think is amazing. Like I'm loving this on reality. Like, you know, yep. you don't need to have like the bachelor body to be on TV. So that's like I think that's great. Like it's showing real people. But I'm sort of like, dude. Like you thought she was super hot and now suddenly she's not. And who like, it's that thing that you've talked about before about who's out of your league and who's not. (laughs) 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 Right. Like I feel like for him, like, yeah, she seems like a great match for him. I don't understand why suddenly she's not attractive. This is it. All right. I think I got, I think I got to it. So good. Cause us, I'm so they, confused. They give us crumbs. They give us crumbs. Um, and you got to catch certain things. And lately we've been watching it, uh, with subtitles on for whatever reason. Um, and, but it's been helping cause there's strange little things that I'll catch. Like for example, shake saying, asking, uh, if, uh, asking, uh, DT if she, if she wants to hump, like who's, who talks like that, bro. I know. <laughs> I think I literally said that like fifth grade. I was like the naughtiest word you could say, right? Yeah, exactly. Whoa, bro. Like, like, it's cause there is something infantile about him, um, and childish, but okay. So yes, you did mention, um, uh, yeah, you mentioned it, it got that scar. So it looks like he had some sort of, yeah, he, he, he says, he says it earlier in the pot. I remember that he used to be overweight as well. So I think he's extremely insecure. And I think that I did not does, know that I forgot that. Yes. Part. It was one of those quick little things that came through because she's, she spent more time talking about it and he, and he, and he quickly said it as well. Um, and you can tell he, he does kind of have that. Yeah. He does a guy. If you look at it, he's he like a, uh, it's a surgery on his, uh, in a stomach. It looks like he did that or, or at least, at least, uh, yeah, some, something going on like a uh which cool right on man you you had you, you know hopefully you feel better about yourself yeah but hopefully you don't like but hopefully you don't judge yourself with the same harshness uh, others that you still judge yourself with because that's that's not that's kind that's uh, that's cruel to other people so i think that a lot of um, all of his insecurities and that's what this and this is kind of what i want to talk to you about um and this is so difficult when you're dating right is to how do you when, how are you able to like set up that, um, that filter when you're dating? Cause it can, like, we're already all so insecure when we're, we're dating. Like, Oh, does he like me? Or does he like me? I don't know. And then, and then other people, how do you know they're leaking as you call it? How do you know wait, to, or if they're like actual, not rejecting you for, I like, won't say valid reasons, but, but for something based on that's not completely based off, uh, of their old bullshit. And I think that's what happens with him. And I also want to point out, uh, so he's a, he's a veterinarian. I'm seeing this. He's like judging these women. He mentioned also, he never dated any, uh, non blonde girls. So he's got these like Eurocentric yep. standards of beauty that he is using. I don't think because necessarily it's what he wants. I think he just wants so badly to not be, you know, that nerdy chubby kid that wasn't, didn't have, wasn't seen as really cool. So the first thing he walks into the party, he goes, Oh my God. But everybody is just so beautiful here. They're all so good looking. It's really interesting how quickly he goes and he and he's deeply afraid that he's not going to be uh, looking uh, valued and, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and seen as, oh, I have the nicest toy. I, I deserve a seat at this table as well because he's, it's like he's, you know, he pushed in, you know, so much work, you know, with his life and his work oh. and, you know, with the women he dates and his job to look like the coolest person. But deep down inside, yeah, he's just super insecure. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the sense and he doesn't feel like he's worthy. And it's like, it's so sad to see it leak over deep. He was finally like, fuck it. Like, you know, she's like, becomes all in and like, I'll be sexual with all that. And then all of a sudden, like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, getting, but when like, he's Mallory. like looking, that's what was also. So, this is, so I'm starting to get what you're saying. Cause like, he's mm-hmm. like, you're so hot. And then at the beginning of their little love scene, J- Jeremy, by the way, was like, um, why is their pool like also the pool for like the room next door in the room? On the other side. <laughs> they do connect I'm like, like i'm it's not weird. making out in that pool but anyway yeah it's um, pretty weird but anyway <laughs> so they're making like out in the pool and he seems really into it and then the next yeah. thing is she's Ooh. like it, they, he seems like he's really you know 
aroused and, and she's into her. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, this is so amazing. I just want to skip this. Let's just get married tomorrow. Like, yeah, I want to have yeah, your babies. Yeah. And he, he's hugging her and his eyes are like, slow the fuck Dude. down, bitch. Um, Save me. <laughs> yeah. And so what I, so I, so you're saying like, and maybe that scene was shot later. I don't know. But you're saying that he thought she was hot, but then he That's... saw all the other women and he was like, oh, I could have had something quote unquote better. Is that, I, do you, I, I, I I think I think now that I was saying this, I think that the um, the base, I think that well, what you just said a second ago, babe, you said about how um, so everybody walks out in the big reveal, right? The makeup team, the hair team's there, yes. and you're in a dress that you're never going to wear again, yeah. or maybe once once a year, and heels that that are uncomfortable just to do that, you know, fifty foot walk, and you're seeing this, you know, this bananas version of uh, of you, and then. Uh, Nothing that I was going to say, like the old Instagram joke is like, uh, always take your, always take your, your, you know, the, the girl you're dating on your first date, like throw her in a swimming pool as fast as you can, you know, and then strip off <laughs> all the makeup and her hair and extensions can come floating around and, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. There you are sort of thing. And I think that, yeah, I think that's kind of what happens, but I think it's a little reverse. I think that he is so uncomfortable and afraid to like, you point out he's got a dad bod and he's got a scar and, um, and who really gives, no one gives a shit, no. but, but shape, but shape gives a shit yes. so much that I think he becomes insanely, and I've done this. He, he becomes a, 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 a insecure about himself. That he starts judging others with that same very cruel, harsh light. And I think he immediately, and by the way, she looks great. I think um, she's she beautiful. Better like, than him. She yeah, better than him. Way uh, better I mean, look. I mean, yes, not, it, again, not not that it fucking matters, but just if we're going to be logical, because yes. we're being, if we're just being logical here, it's like, dude, you're you're still winning, but he's getting that same just ugly, bright, white, mean, cruel light all over. Her. And I think it's his insecurities spilling out in the pool, so he just starts being mean because he's feeling. Mean to himself, you know, and, and it does. I totally, out yeah, I agree. Now, that's my theory here. Yeah. I, 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 ag- I, I, I totally get that. I think you're really being astute, and I think that I, I work with a lot of ladies who have, and I've coached them on this. Like, you know, they have this idea of who they think they're supposed to be with because it mm-hmm. matches their pedigree or what yes. their parents wanted for them, and yeah. you know, they have the, um, you know, the Harry of uh, Sex in the City. You know, Charlotte's, <laughs> you know, bald, like tightly chubby. Uh-huh. you know, whatever. And they're like, it's not enough. Right. And they're mm-hmm. missing this really amazing guy. And I'm not saying you should settle. And I'm not saying that there doesn't need to be chemistry. I'm just saying that when you have your own insecurities it can, and and you have to be really clear, it's like, am, am I acting because of a belief I have that I'm actually projecting out because of my own insecurities? And then mm-hmm. that needs to be worked on because Because, and I will just say this, I think the reality of all of those contestants are very normal, right? Like, because not everyone looks like those people on The Bachelor, right? Like, those people are the, are photoshopped, plastic surgeried. Right. And these people are all just years old. Yeah. They're yeah. Still babies that's the, the, most yeah, of them are 20. Some of these people are in their 28, 29, 30, whatever. Um, so I just think it's really interesting. This whole idea of, you know, like I, I'm not attracted to you suddenly because there's other people maybe that are better looking. Um, yeah. And I think too, like, and I love that you said, you know, if we're just being logical, it's like, he's not, <laughs> you know, freaking George Clooney, this guy, he's a good looking guy, right? He's just like a regular dude. Like I would definitely say he would be someone that you should go out with. (laughs) He has his teeth, Um, you know? And so, (laughs) but I think the looks thing can really get in the way. And one thing I do want to add to this, because I don't want to go down is saying like, oh, she said, you know, I'm supposed to go out with someone I'm not attracted to. I think that Mm -hmm. like, Number one is you want to make sure you share core values, right? And I think I see a lot of people not want to date someone. They make it be about he's not good looking enough. And they don't even look to see if they have core values. Or they do have core values and they're possibly getting in the way of that attraction or that chemistry because of their own shit. But a lot of times you might be saying it's because he wasn't good looking enough, but honestly, do you share the same values? Because sometimes what makes someone attractive to us 
falls into those like five non-negotiables we keep talking about, right? Like they're into adventure, they're into there, they're like, they're ambitious or whatever, whatever it is, right? And so you're saying you're not attracted, but often those values not being there could be causing that lack of attraction. And worth uh, kind of circling back and touching upon what you, uh, upon what you spoke about last week and really understanding gals for what is a core value and what is a a like a commonality a pastime for in this case we're talking about mallory in there and the chicago cubs right um that's not really a core value so i think a core value just to remind everyone like a core value is i always say like these are the five fights that you're never going to have because they're the the legacy you want to leave in the world like the things that are the most important to you so it might be like um you know adventure right or it might be mm-hmm. um uh, integrity. It might be, um, things like, um, uh, uh, curiosity. Uh, it might be faith, right? Mm-hmm. Like, or it, for some people, it might be a religion. I think I said last week, like, uh, I had a client once who wanted to put something about climate in her non-negotiables, right? Cause that was like a really important thing. What it's not mm-hmm. is like, he's got to be over six foot four. Um, he's, uh, needs, you know, he needs to make X amount of dollars. There's always something deeper if that you have a money one uh, usually. Um, and so I think it's really important to notice those because, if they're not present, often you won't have chemistry with someone, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so you just want to be aware of them because they can be a reason to date someone or a reason not to date someone. Okay. So I want to go on because again, so much in this little uh, episode. Um, Let's talk about Shane and Natalie. Um, Shane and Natalie, like... I don't understand them. (laughs) Um, And it's funny, they, on the show, like the producers interviewed people, like, you know, obviously the question was like, who do you think is going to make it or whatever? And so Shane is this like very charismatic, outgoing. I don't know if he's typically good looking, but I guess he's like, he, I think you said he's like a golden retriever, (laughs) right? Like he's just like, you know, like he's just very like, affable and cute, but also needs a lot of attention. Um, And then Natalie is attractive intellectually, I think with it, you know, she seems like she's a pretty good catch. What I, what liked about uh, Shane, this, he gets a bonus point for his possible vapidness. Um, And that is they're, they're talking, talking and she's joking around. And he was like, every time I say something serious, you make a joke out of it. And I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Mm -hmm. good for you. That's her defense mechanism. I think, right? Like he says Mm -hmm. something serious and she makes it playful and something that she's joking around about. So what do you make about them? All right, guy, I want to punch him in the face for what he says. He's saying something serious. So I'm, I'm big on not starting shit when it's not necessary. And a fight, dude, his fight, the, the reason I'm like pissed off a little now. The reason he says he's saying something serious is because he asked the question, do I look pretty, bro? Wait, that was all, the question? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, my bad. Question. I thought he said something about like their relationship. Barney. The internet, the internet ag- uh, agrees with your first presumption, though, that, that, that Natalie was a jerk and she doesn't take his feelings for granted. Yeah, serious. And so, no, everybody's the very sensitive uh, internet world is like, oh, she, now uh, anti Natalie. It's like, oh, my good dude, not every bro. That's yours. First, yeah. Am I am I pretty? No, seriously. Am I pretty? And that, that what he, he asked her that no guy. And I want to know, I don't know if, I don't think a guy should ever be, that That can't be your serious question, dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That, that, You're not is, allowed that, man. that is, that is true. Yeah, no, am I, pr- I thought that was don't. weird that he said that. Um, Ugh. I think it's like, is it playful? But it's, um. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was playful. I thought you're being, I thought you're, I, I joke around about shit like that. And like, okay, I don't, but no, he gets mad. Cause yeah, and that's, and that was, that's kind of when, he said the golden retriever comment, like that's when I can see the guy, yeah, like tearing up. He's got a lot of energy, and when he doesn't get what he wants, you see how quickly um, 
it, he gets he, he does it's awesome you're right he he does vocally uh yeah show that hey you know he's asking for something and he's not getting it so cool but man i can uh yeah i can see his if you keep telling him he's not pretty enough yeah and turning into like throwing plates or something strange he did that he did it in last week's episode too he said something about like do you think i'm cute enough or do you think i'm attractive or are you attracted to me or something so it's it's his insecurity is very very odd that being said um (laughs) If I were going to, like, if you asked me that question right now, like, who's going to make it to the end? Um, yes. It might be them because oh my God, it seems no, like they I don't, don't take it personally. Like, they're playing uh, around. I, I don't know. Or else they're just, like, going to combust. I mean, right now, I don't think any of these people are going to make it to the end. We haven't even talked about that yet. So, okay, so hold on. So you're saying that by the end, do you mean, the, the, what is it, four weeks or whatever they have? Yeah, like that, that they actually get married. Okay, that they get married. And then do they, do they in real life, they get married in real life, and you're thinking that, that they stay married for six months, one year, nothing? Like, do you have any I don't, I, I remember in the show? last season, I think, mm-hmm. I don't know how many people got married. I think. The ones that have stayed married, and I don't know if they're married now, were... Um, I think they still are. The waitress um, yeah. with the the good looking ish oh, yeah, yeah. guy. Yep, 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 yep. Don't remember their names. How unprofessional of me. And um, the biracial couple, which I thought were really yes. cute. They seemed yes. like adults. <laughs> they, yes. I think yes. they are still married. Bar- 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 Barnett, I want to Yes, say Barnett and name. Kelly, maybe. And he- and then uh, no, no, Kelly, but and then and Cameron, um, I think was the other guy's name. And yeah, I forget the chip, I forget his, his wife's name. But all right, so you're you're not seeing anybody staying getting married after we'll say we'll we'll say real marriage has got to be like whatever one year. You don't see it happening with any of these people currently, correct? I do not. I do not. I oh, care. it says by That's the good. way that um what? wait, I was looking on the internet. Uh Lauren and Lauren Cameron, Cameron are Cameron. still together. Perfect. Okay. Um, and then and let's see. And Ka- let's see. Oh, she was feisty. I, 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 she was. Yeah, I kind of liked her for. You know, she was like from West Virginia. I want to say Amber um, and Amber. Matt Barnett. Yeah. Matt Barnett. Yeah. Yep. Amber. Are they? they are still together. Fuck yes. Okay. So. Netflix did a doozy on us. Two, only two are, are, are still yeah. together. So Called do it. you think any of the, just, you know, we're, we haven't even yeah. seen them in real life once. Do you think mm. so far any of these people are going to last? And by the way, if uh, you're listening, feel free to uh, let us know who you think is going to be together at the end. Yeah. Yes. And not, and not, not the end, like four weeks. Yeah. Cause they want to stay on TV and, but like, I, I think that's bullshit, but actually once the cameras are gone, are they still there? We'll say a year. Yeah, <laughs> it's, exactly. It's a minimum or yeah. Once, once the likes and the, the, the Instagram stuff wears down or whatnot. Um, I think that there is, I, I don't like the way he acted and I don't love with the way he was kind of really, I think it was more about um, Mal Mal and Jer Bear. I think it was. I think he was more searching for his 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 hero's uh, a story that that hey he is a good guy. I think he wanted to get picked because she didn't pick him in the beginning, and she he wanted to hear that hey I done fucked up and you're a stud and all that. I think I think he really wanted to hear that. Um, so I think that's why he was really sussing, which is which is selfish because it's fucking up uh, the relationship and, and the doubt that Mallory already has that that's like the girl's guy or the boys. The guy's girl, Mallory. Um, you think, Jer? Think, think you think they're going to end Indiana. up together? One year, I can see them. One year, Dude, his communication is pretty good, though. Wait, he wait. You mean Jer and he's... Mallory, or Jer and Ayana? Jared, Jared, no, Jared and Ayana. Jared and Ayana. You think Jared he's Ayana, not going to stay with same. Mallory? I think no. I think Jared's going to stay with me. Jared dating Ayana. That yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, but you yeah, think that he's not going to like be like, oh no, Mallory's my person. Ooh, I hope not. Fuck, I hope not. But hey, you know what? Yeah, I I don't know. I think it's, I I do. I I think they're good. God, I hope Marty don't say that. That'd be terrible. I know, but I just thought the way it was going so far that he's gonna no. ditch Ayana. His ego was fucking slammed, dude. He was like ready to propose to a girl. Guys will do anything. Our egos are fragile. 
just anything from these recordings and podcasts we've done <laughs> is how sensitive we are and how what babies we are. We can't take – he asked a chick to propose, um, and she said no. And I think that – I think he absolutely needs a redemption and needs to know that he wants her, yeah, to 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 want him now. So at least he's like, ah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm still good. I'm still left side. So I think it was more about him um, than – Mallory uh, shitting on Sal. I think, yeah, he shut out the truth. I think they were drinking heavily. Yeah, the they were. They were drinking Power. heavily. Yeah, they were drinking heavily. Well, I think it'll be interesting to see if Ayana, and this is maybe the last thing we talk about. So you see your guy having a deep old conversation with his ex. Um, uh-huh. Do you do you get insecure? Well, do you be like, I hope well, you got that resolved? Because remember, Ayana knows that he proposed to Mallory first and she was mm-hmm. second. Mm-hmm. So you think mm-hmm. she you think, you know, tomorrow she's just going to be like, it's cool. I hope you, you know, feel good about your choice to propose to me. I really love you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, do I think that's what she should do? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think that's what she's going to do. No. Um, <laughs> no, absolutely not. And yeah, I think it's going to. But yeah, I think that's the the the, the dating uh, with dignity and having, um, yeah, those higher realize, Hey, you know, and basically always having a relationship. Yeah. Always having that, Hey, the door is there. I'd, I'd, I'd like you to stay, but, but yeah, not to like force or, you know, really let him know, let him be in power with his decision, um, to be with her. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see him. I think, I think, I hope knock on wood, um, that he was just doing that for, to, to rebuild his, his ego of being crushed and yeah, told, being denied um on yeah on tv all right well that'll be interesting and is there anyone else that you think is going to make it good question good question um based on their first 36 hours i think if uh yeah no we didn't bring it up it's so worth bringing up um because the self-sabotaging which i'm if she doesn't self-sabotage daniela and Nick, Danielle is oh, going to yeah. puking yep. in the bathroom the whole time. Um, they got, I, I, and yeah, they got super drunk and then she got uh, food poisoning or what the heck happened to her for food poisoning. Is it just bottle drunk or, or, or whatever when she's puking? I think he's she, gone. Yeah, I think that that was just, I'm in Mexico and I ate some funky junk. Okay, okay. That's some funky chunks. And now uh, she's going chunks. And he, uh, and she's very, we, we see her, she's got some kind of crazy insecure eyes where the, they're kind of beautiful blue eyeballs are like shaking and darting around. I know a, a few people, uh, gals who, who, who do that. And she's like, oh, you know, choose me, choose me. They make crazy, passionate sex three times. He says, or two times in three different places, um, whatnot. And the next morning, boom, she's gone. And then what does he do? He goes to... And I can see why she's in skirt. So she's feeling probably as ugly and weak as she has. She's literally on the floor. Literally on the floor in the bathroom. Toilet, literally on the floor holding the top. Not her most attractive moment. And she's out there for the first time uh, meeting all the other females that, you know, in her head now, I'm sure, are so much more perfect and beautiful compared to where she's at. So I'll give her a pass on this Yeah, one. I think I that the producers see. made him go. Yeah. Oh, they, they did. He did a great job. And, yeah. And he, he I think he was a stand up well guy. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Um, you're right. I think here's, here's, yeah. a, here's a funky little uh, uh, topic. Does he give out? You think he's there any chance you think he's gay? No, I don't. Of? No, not at all. Not at all. Just sensitive and nice and whatnot. I just uh, think he's a really a nice of, guy. He reminds me of that Cameron guy on season one. Camera. Okay. Okay. He. Yeah, okay. Got this. Just super. Nice. There's a lot of rumblings on the internet. The internet's a weird place, by the way, to read about. <laughs> I know. I try and you avoid know. it as, as much as possible. Oh, it is nuts because there's so many people out there. Your volumes and number of people that something will get upvoted super high, and you're like, oh, um, you know, 600 people think this, and you're like, well, fuck, maybe it's true. And you're like, eh, no, there's just 600 crazy people out of a yeah. you know billion people not a, a big deal a, 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 that's true out of a billion people um i forgot about them and that's why i think they're probably gonna last because they might actually okay. just like each other but there needs seems Ooh. to be no drama so far like i think the fact that he's taking care of her when she's sick the producers were mm-hmm. like you need to go um here's who i want to talk about before we go and i don't mm-hmm. even know why they showed him that guy mark mm-hmm. the girl shana left uh, Kyle, 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 Kyle. And he's like, Oh, we have a communication problem. I'm like, dude, 
she left. <laughs> unless, uh, unless, like, you know something we don't know. Uh, yeah. Why are you here? And and he didn't come to the party, correct? Yeah, why not? That was weird. That's why I'm, I don't that know. Was... Something, something, I, I think, the I don't brew. know. I think you're right. I think you're right on the brew. Um, do you think he just, uh, when should you stop fighting for her? Or somebody who's a bad communicator, or is it just is it just you just don't start because hey, Marty, most people you date one, you would I think you'd say fair to say that your husband is now a much better communicator, uh, you know, through a lot of work through you as a professional communicator through the years. So wh- what's a girl to do? You well, think she's on the other foot here. That's a great question. But with with Kyle and Shayna, they have so mm-hmm. many issues. Communication is just one. I mean, and I don't think that it's bad communication. She flat out lied to him. And then she (laughs) just left without saying goodbye. Um, But what I will say is sometimes when you are um, on the love junk, right, you're Mm. you don't really see what's actually happening. And all of us can say, dude, she literally left in the middle of the night. (laughs) She mm-hmm. she faked like tiredness and then left. I don't think. Yeah. Forty p.m. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's a communication problem. Um, I yeah. love that. You just you you just made me yeah realize because I was just like person on the internet. I swallowed the first thing I read and he said it. I'm like, yeah, she's a bad communicator. No, dude, she is communicating everything to you. She's yes. she told you over and over and over. <laughs> By every aspect, by the way she denies your kisses, by the way she yeah. Yeah, has to go to bed at 740, by the way she like, says you're not her type. She's communicated all day. Someone's not a bad communicator just because you're a shitty listener and they're not saying what you want to what you want to hear. Oh that man, Chris mean. Gillis. Yes. I mean, she even was like like real men eat meat, real men eat bread. Yes. Yeah, I was like, Ooh, gross. Yeah. She's she, communicated, bro. She's not yeah. to you. <laughs> Take the cotton out of your ears. She exactly. said it all. Stop blaming it on. Because that, that, that makes right that makes it all about the other person. That means we don't have to change, right? Like, oh, they're a bad communicator. It's them versus, mm-hmm, versus she's not picking me. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I'm confused by the show because I thought I said to you last week, like, she's gone. And you were like, no, 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 no. She's going to come back. Um, And then she didn't come back. And then he's like at a beach going where, you know, I I can get her back. So producers, weird edit. I don't get it. And I guess who cares? You said it. Marnie, they, they, they panned over to uh, a, a red, uh, he's out on the beach, to like a, one of those red flags on the beach. As he said, he was saying, she like doesn't communicate. And they did a really quick edit. They showed like a red flag. Yeah, <laughs> that, in the beach yeah that's really funny. I didn't even notice that. Uh, I'm knitting and watching, so I think I might have missed some oh. of those things. Um, but all in all, I really uh, had a hard time not watching the next episode, I want to tell you, yes. but I refrained. Good. And also, I did watch um, season episode one of The Ultimatum. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well. So I might have to watch it, uh, and maybe we can, like, add in a little combo next week. Color about... me interested. Color me. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, I, I kind oh. of want to talk about that, too. So we might do a hybrid... <laughs> Uh, next week okay. with a little bit of the ultimatum because I'm this is what fascinated. My, my friends who are, I've been, uh, as I posted a few things on the internet, uh, the internet on like Instagram about the shows and I'm seeing my, and, like my friends are coming in. Cause I just, I can't talk to you about it quick enough. So I'm like, Oh man, I got to talk, especially with ultimatum. All my friends who did watch the ultimatum, they also watch left is blind. So I think we're going to have a, there's going to be a lot of, beautiful crossover and people are already and they're ready to go and want to hear about it all my friends so they were jumping back and forth even the even like the reddit threads they they, they they're mixing up even if the thread for like love is blind they're missing they're mixing up and they're throwing ultimatum in there as well so i think people for some reason right now we are just obsessed reality tv is just dating is just killing it well you know the Honestly, bachelor dating. hasn't been on for like four months True. three months True. and so and just, there's yeah, a time to fun. sample something else okay well yeah. i will watch the ultimatum for next right. week uh, we will cool. continue with our discussion of Love is Blind. Uh, yep. But what we're finding out so far is that um, <laughs> Love is not blind. <laughs> uh, and my other hot tip for you is um, if you're on a date and you meet up with your friends, 
Don't tell your friends that you're not attracted to your date when your date is standing mm, 20 feet away. Savage, bro. Yeah, you know, shake. Again, that's because he's prote- he's admitting he doesn't feel attractive. It's it's just a shitty thing to do to another human being. Yeah, make it about them. No, yeah, no. he gets my douchebag of the uh, week award. On I know. Show. It's yeah. so weird that nerds can be douchebags, but yeah, you have to make it. And you know what's crazy is someone would be like, oh my God, he's like got on paper, right? Like he's so successful, mm-hmm. he's so smart, mm-hmm. he's da, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. but no. Okay. Ladies, so much <laughs> to contemplate here. So as we recommend always on this show, damn life check yourself. We'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, thanks for tuning into today's show. So if being in an intimate relationship in which you feel 100% seen, heard and accepted by a high caliber man is a priority for you right now and you're interested in seeing if you're a fit for working with me and my team at Dating with Dignity, here's what I want you to do. Just head over to DWDVIP, that's D as in dating, W, D as in dating, VIP.com and book a call to speak with my team. We'll get on the phone with you for about 60 minutes and you'll get crystal clear on what's stopping you from finding true love right now. We'll also take a look at what you want to create, what you want your whole life to look like when you're able to finally be fully expressed as a woman in a healthy relationship with an incredible guy. And if we can help you get from where you are right now to where you want to be, we will show you the fastest path possible that makes sense for you to do that. We help smart, successful women all over the world solve this one missing piece in their life so they can finally have it all. So to see if we can help you do the same thing, head over to DWDVIP.com. I'm Marnie Batista, and let's talk soon.